What you see here, this is the base of the project. You see more, many things, many fish move around, critters, crabs moving around and stuff like that. So this is basically for us like a group of animals. So if Tom clicks on crabs here, then he comes straight away to a lot of crabs. Okay? Now he can theoretically click on anything and you will see a video of this animal with a little bit of description of the animal, okay? That's one way to get to these videos, okay? Can we go back? Now, again, we have over here, on the other side, we have on the top groups. This is demonstration, basically the same thing what you have before on the base, okay? And um, you can scroll down. All those groups are here. So you cl click on any of those groups here. Uh, what, what do you like to see? Snappers? Go to snappers. Okay? Or grasses. Oh. Okay. Snappers. So we have all the whole, all the family, the, all the snappers which I was able to shoot. I mean, this library here is by far not complete over the whole life in the ocean. We have only about 660 fish species in it just to give you a number uh, of, of fishes and so on. Then we have from each different videos, you can make a full screen, have a full screen video and look at it there. What is good here, you see the animal in its natural surrounding. How it swims, how it crawls over the floor and so on, how it pumps water, depends what you look at it. Okay, now we go back again to the basic thing. Then the next thing, interesting thing is we have here a tree. What is a tree? Tree of life. So you start on the top and then you can go down, you can select film you want to go. And then you come to the class, you click on the class, and then you have two orders in that phylum, and then you have so many species in it, you can click in uh, uh, families, you click on one, then you have the genus, you click on one, and then you come to the Harlequin ships. So people really can learn and see how those animals are related to the higher um, class and so on, okay? Again, up there, you can see all the time the family tree as well. And uh, Tom was saying to me something, he just discovered something. He can see how to figure out how fish or animals are related to each other with following this family tree, okay? And um, this is, I think, a very educational help for students to go through this thing. The lady who has made the whole curating, she just finished two years earlier at her marine biology studies in Panama, and she told me, Eddie, if I would have that tool in the university, I would have spent days there and learn. Because where she learned is just a book with pictures or even black and white hand drawings, nothing like that. Here, you see the animals straight away in its natural inhabited uh, surrounding, how it is feeding, how it is living, how it is moving, and it's much more educational, much more interesting for the students to go through the whole thing, okay? So, what we have here in this library is over, at the moment, over a thousand species of life forms in the ocean. And I talk only about the Indian India, India, India <coughs> Ocean because that's the only place where I was diving. So I, can, I don't have a big experience because I was only diving in Indonesia, huh? That's right. <laughs> anyway, then that's basically, then we have also a search option. Let's go to the search option. You type in something. What do you like to see? Maybe anyone so, would like to suggest a species you'd like to see? 
Somebody has, would like to see a special species or the animal in the ocean, please? Psychedelic foxes. Psychedelic? I don't have that one. <laughs> ah, that's not fair. <laughs> I was telling you I'm not complete, okay? That's not fair. Um, Caroline. Huh? Rhinopias. Here we have paddle flappers, uh, uh, and here we have the rhinopias frondosa. Different pictures, different videos, different colors, because those animals have not only one color, they can show up in different colors, in different shapes, but they are all frondo, uh, frondosa rhinopias. Okay? Then we have also the other one. You can go back one step. Oh. Go one more time to Rhinopia. Yep. Yeah, from those other, we have more. Go to, go to Scorpion fish, please. Right. Rhinopia is genius. Paddle flap and the VD. Okay, so this is a paddle flat rhinopia. Different, for, different colors, different uh, surroundings where I did find them. And we have here, I don't know how many videos of these rhinopias uh, to, see, to show you uh, where they live. Here is a little bit of Wikipedia information, which all the 1,000 species, there is a little bit information from Wikipedia taken out. Okay, you'd like to see something else? Bob, eh? Squid. Bobtail squid. Bob squid. Let's see if we have a bobtail squid. Hopefully we have one. I don't know. Yep. We have a bobby drill. Yeah, here we have a very bobtail squid. There's now only one clip in it. Okay, so this is all the species have the same thing. We have also mammals. Go to blue whales. Show me a blue whale. But you see how fast this thing is going. You don't have to grab another book or whatever. You have everything in front of you, and straight away it pops up. And um, where's the blue whale? You wait for the coming up there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's too lazy to type. Huh? <laughs> Here, blue whales. Blue whales. So we have also mammals. We have. Uh, Nudie branch, we have crabs, we have shrimps, all sorts of animals what we have in the Indonesian Ocean.